Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I woke up in the mood to film a shop my stash. It's been a few months since my last one, so we're due for this. If you aren't familiar with this type of video, I bring you through the process of me picking the products for a specific look I have in mind, or sometimes I try to use the products I haven't used in a really long time and I kind of miss. It's a good opportunity for me to use the products I already have in my collection and use them in a different way or create a fun new look with them. So before we get to the picking process, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. First off, I have this little box on my desk. These are all of the new products I've tried out so far this month. And I feel like I need to try the Milk Makeup Primer once again. I've only used this once so far. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to use it with the foundation I already know and love. So here is my top drawer that contains all of my primers, concealers, foundations, and powders and skincare and a bunch of other stuff. So I feel like I usually grab something from here. So I'm gonna make the effort to use something back here. And the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer is kind of catching my eye. I'm gonna pick one of my shades. I don't think I'm gonna be light one. Maybe light 1.5 or two. I'll pull both of them just in case. For my concealers, I have two that are kind of popping out at me. This Oma Beauty one. I'm just a bit concerned with this one because it is quite full coverage and I was also eyeing up the Dior backstage one. I think I'm going to go with the Dior one. I know this isn't that old, but there's something that's pulling me towards this product. While I'm here, I'm going to grab my eye primer. This is the About Face smoothing one. For setting powder, I feel like I've been reaching for the same ones a lot, so I want to use something I haven't used in a minute that can work under my eyes as well as my face. So I think I'm going to go with maybe the Dear Dahlia one. I was also kind of eyeing this Dior one, but I think that's a little bit deep. I feel more drawn to the Dear Dahlia setting powder. Now moving on to my favorite drawer. Can you guess why? This one holds all of my blushes and bronzers. So this is all blush, more blush, highlighters in the back over there. And these are bronzers and I moved my setting sprays recently here. I'm feeling conflicted looking at my bronzers. There's quite a few that are catching my eye right now, like this Trini London one down there, this Makeup by Mario stick. Oh, this one also is catching my eye. What do I do? Oh, the Say one. Like these are all so nice. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a combo. So the swatch on the left is the Say cream bronzer. And the one on the far right is the Makeup by Mario Sculpt Stick. I think I'm gonna do a combo of both. For highlighter, I have some that go in the back as well. This one's kind of peeking out at me. It's the Milk Makeup Lit Stick. Now for the hardest decision of them all. What blush do I use? I have such a nice blush collection. It's my pride and joy. I'm trying to pick something else, but this one has a grasp on me right now. It's the Merit Beverly Hills blush. This is where I put things I have not tried yet. I just wanted to show you guys these because I'm so excited about them. And I also wanted to show you that I got the Danessa Myricks neon color fixes. So I'm thinking of doing a little mix of these two to create a more lime shade like my shirt I'm wearing today. And I'm gonna grab the shade Lift, which is the white one that I have in my bottom drawer. For my mascaras, I'm realizing I need to get rid of a lot of these. I've had some of them for way too long, but I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Big Mood one for my top lashes and my M Cosmetics pick me up for my lower lashes since I finished my Glossier one in my last video. I need an eyeshadow palette to kind of construct this look and this one is perfect. I just need a couple neutrals to balance out what I have in mind. I actually forgot one thing, this. I want this middle shade again. And for my lips, this one is going to suit the Merit blush very nicely. I haven't tried that combo yet. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last High Shine Brilliance in Clothes Off. Actually, I'm also going to take this out. This is the Rouge Signature Powder Lip Quad. And I think this pink right here will be perfect. I did not hold back today. I have a lot of stuff to play with. So first off, I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse 
primer. This is a mattifying and blurring primer. The first time I used it, I didn't notice much of the blurring properties. I did notice the mattifying ones though, but we'll see how it looks with the tinted moisturizer I'm using today. So I'm gonna take about that much. I kind of squeezed out a little bit more than I wanted to, but that's okay. It's fine. I'll just start with what I have on one hand first because I think that's all I'm gonna need. Ooh, I also wanted to give you an update on my dating life because I kind of left you guys hanging after that video I filmed with my mom when I was getting ready for a date. I feel like I've gotten less personal on my channel over the last little, probably year. I think that's just due to the pandemic. The pandemic definitely dulled me. It was hard not to. I was just a single woman living in my house living a very repetitive life. I wasn't having any new experiences, so of course it kind of killed my creativity. I was definitely using a lot of neutrals, doing similar looks. I just didn't have any inspiration because I wasn't going out experiencing new things. So I think that's what's happened. Uh, now I'm going to go in with the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Light 1.5. But yeah, I've become such a yes woman. Uh, I've been going out more, doing things. I'm really trying to suppress my want to stay home because I'm such an introvert. So I'm trying to live it up and I have been. So last August, I decided to download the apps even though I didn't really want to. I feel like that's the only way I'd be able to meet new people because the majority of the time I'm just home and when I'm out and about, I'm on a mission. So I wasn't really meeting new people organically and I just wanted to start dating again because I took a two year hiatus because after I broke up with my boyfriend of a year and a half, I just needed a break to rediscover what I actually wanted and I needed to sit back and learn all of my lessons I needed to learn from that one. There were so many red flags in that relationship. It was very toxic, but I am very grateful for it because I've learned so much through it. So after I dated myself, realigned with what I actually want in a partner and in life, I downloaded the apps and I needed to get one more toxic one out of my system. I was seeing this guy for like six-ish months, but it felt like a long distance relationship. It wasn't really anything serious, even though I wanted it to be, which thank God it wasn't because he made me feel very insecure. And yeah, so thankfully that one came to a close. And then I went on a couple of dates here and there, just like one-off dates that were really fun, but I didn't really feel a romantic connection. I was really lucky. I had really fun ones that I was able to have really interesting conversations with, but they all just felt like friends. And then and this guy came around, the one I was getting ready for in that video, and I really, really liked him. We went on a total of four dates though. The first two afterwards, I was not able to sleep. I was so excited. I'd get like these most intense butterflies, but then something shifted on the third date and I started to like see these subtle red flags. Like I didn't want it to happen, but I was starting to get kind of icked out. I was getting the ick and I only ever get the ick when I'm unsure about the person and when I get the ick, I know that that person isn't for me. So I was starting to get that, but I was kind of scared of getting that because I didn't want to not like him. <laughs> yeah, there's just like subtle things he would do to make me feel insecure. One of my love languages is physical touch. And when I'm seeing someone, like I'm, I'm not like super handsy. I just like to have like my hand resting on your shoulder. Like it's nothing crazy. I just like to have a little bit of physical touch. And whenever I'd go in, he would kind of look at me and like do this weird eyebrow thing and he would say, you good? Are you okay? Like just trying to make me feel like I'm doing something really wrong. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, are you okay? Like, what are you doing? And he would do it constantly. And he kept doing things like that. On our fourth date, I wore these really cute like yoga pants that have a slit on the side so they kind of look extra flared and he was just like roasting me beyond the point of like it being joking and I was like okay like I get it I don't know it was a little bit weird and then the next day was really telling like we were just texting throughout the day and I gave him an update of what just happened I was trying to close my blinds in my room and the whole bar fell down and hit me on the head so I just told him that over text like oh my god I can't believe I, that just happened and his response was the major ick for me. He said, did you install them yourself? 
and I was like, wow, that is such an interesting response. <laughs> I was like, there's a lot to unpack there. I'm now going to go in with my Dear Dahlia powder. And I responded something like, oh, that's interesting to me that you go straight to that instead of asking if I was okay. Like there is not a person in the world that I've ever interacted with that wouldn't immediately ask me if I was okay. Like I would too. Anyone told me that, I'd be like, oh my God, are you okay? Like, and then he said something along the lines of, did your extensions cushion it or something? And I was like, oh my God, that's it for, that's it. That's it for me. <laughs> I just did not respond. This is not gonna go anywhere, so that was that. <laughs> I'm now going to bronze with the Sun Melt bronzer from Say in the shade Light Bronze. But even though that was kind of a funny experience, I've been having a lot of fun dating because in the past, I feel like I would fall in love with just any guy who would give me attention. Like I really needed to grow out of needing male validation. So it's been powerful for me to like go on these dates and not immediately fall in love with them and make up a whole scenario in my head like I used to a couple years back. I'm proud of myself for that, that's for sure. But I have another date, I think this upcoming week. We, it was supposed to be today, but he ended up having to work. So we'll see what happens, but I'll keep you guys updated with that. It's um, It's been interesting, that's for sure. But I haven't gone on too, too many. I've been kind of slowly getting into it. I, just because after I talk to a guy, I need like a week in between just to like process what just happened and get mentally prepared to have to ask another guy what his favorite color is. I'm really tired of that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know, starting over and over, it's like a little bit taxing on the energy. Now I'm taking the Makeup by Mario Soft, Soft, what? Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Light Medium. I'm just gonna add like a little bit just on my cheekies. Why did I say cheekies? I don't know. Oh, I just caught a glimpse of this earring. Like I said a couple weeks back, my cats have been in that phase where they just knock off. <clears throat> Hello? Anything that's on the edge of a counter and I stupidly went to bed and I took off my earrings and left them in my bathroom just chilling on the counter. And one of them, of course, went down the sink. So I had to learn how to be a plumber today to retrieve it. I'm also now a plumber, but hold the crack because I was wearing a bodysuit. <laughs> Time for the lit stick from Milk. I'm just gonna go straight in with the little stick. I'm just gonna do a couple taps on the high points and then I'll over with my finger but now it's blush time and i'm going to use the shade beverly hills from merit and i'm just going to apply it directly on my cheeks because this one isn't crazy crazy pigmented it just deposits the perfect amount oh my gosh that color is so nice every time i apply this color i get taken aback it's so nice This is the Fenty Beauty 125 face brush. It's a really nice blush brush. My mom was the first one to actually point out that I've gotten a lot more private on my channel. And I think also it's kind of scary to put yourself out there for thousands of people to see. It's something you have to get used to. I'm just taking some of that setting powder once again to set my face now that I'm done with creams. But now it's time for the kitty intermission. So please enjoy. So for my eyes, I do have an inspo photo. I cut off her username, but I saved it on Instagram. I'll put her username on screen, but it's this really unique shape. I don't think I've ever done an eye look with this shape, so we're gonna try. So I already built this so far. This is like the rough base. So I'm gonna repeat it on this eye now. I'm taking this little Nabla brush. It's an old little fluffy brush. I'm taking this shade first from the Makeup by Mario palette and I'm going to put this in my inner corner, kind of up in this nook near my brow. Now I'm switching my brushes and I'm going to use that one right there, this one. <laughs> and I'm going to define this a little bit more right on the edge. And then I went one step deeper. Well, a couple steps. I don't know why I said that. This one, 
the darkest brown. And I concentrated that just right here. I didn't go all along that that inner corner detail I added. I don't know why that side turned out so much better. I think I didn't have the confidence on this side. I was kind of approaching this side with nervous energy and it shows. Now I'm taking an angled brush. This is the ColourPop E30 and I'm going to repeat the same steps but backwards. So I'm taking that deep brown because I want some definition right here. I want this to be exaggerated so I'm gonna make like a little mini mini wing wiping that brush off going in with that medium brown and I'm gonna do a very loose wing so it's gonna look pretty diffused and I brought that out further than I usually would as well wiping that brush off again going in with the first one to ultra diffuse this out to make it look smoky. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. It's all right, I guess. And I know I'm gonna have to come back and touch this up once I add the color all over the lid. Um, hopefully this goes away quickly. Okay. okay, let's now mix up a fun color. So I'm going to be taking these three Danessa Myricks color fixes, the shades UFO, which is this bright yellow, Wasabi, which is the green, and Lift, which is the white. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a bit of each on my Milk Makeup palette. So I'm left with this. Those are my proportions. Taking this little Smith 233. See that green is very overpowering. I might add a bit more. I don't know, that's actually really pretty. I think I made the perfect color. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to with that whoa that's so vibrant <laughs> cool okay i have way too much on my brush way too much way 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 i forgot how much the these um spread and i'm placing that all over in the negative space that we left how did she finish this oh it just like blends into kind of nothingness I do wish I added a bit more yellow now that I'm seeing it on my eyes. It's a bit more green than I had originally imagined, but that's okay because now I'm taking this Huda Beauty Color Block palette, the blue and green one, and I'm going to use that middle shade. See, now I'm nervous because this one looks a lot more yellow, but it actually might, might, might be nice. We're good. I'm just going in with a detailed brush around the edges. I was originally gonna do this whole thing with this little brush, but I don't have that kind of patience. I have this Moda Eye Shader brush. And adding a powder on top of that is just gonna make everything look way more smooth and cohesive as well. I wanna pull out maybe a shimmer shade for the inner corner with a bit of a green reflect. I think that would be really pretty. This eye is turning out so much better than the other one. So listen up, you're only allowed to look at this one, okay? Promise me. I know everyone just glanced over here. I, I see you, rude. Now I'm going to go back and add more details now that we have the rough look completed. Um, so I'm taking that dark, actually the medium shade to go back in here and sharpen it up. And I'm not sure what to do to like finish off the lower lash line. Maybe just that first shade. I think the green is enough. It doesn't need to be super defined down here. This is so fun. And I also, and I did end up pulling out a little green shimmer. This is the Makeup Forever Starlit Diamond Powder in 106. Ooh. Fun. 
I'm just going to add my mascara and I'll be right back with the final eye reveal. I feel like Tinkerbell with these eyes on. I want to experiment more with this shape. I think it looks so eye-catching. What do you guys think? Now let's move on to the lips. For my lip liner, I saw this one. I wasn't sure what color to use, but this is About Face Happy Endings. I think that's too orangey. I think I'm going to use Pat McGrath Buff instead. And then I'm going to pat on some of this lip powder. Ooh, I'm really happy I changed that lip liner. This is like a perfect combo. I think I'm going to amp up the blush a little bit. I feel like the amount I went in with is too subtle for this. Okay, maybe just a little bit. This smells bad. I think they've gone off. It's not great, not great. <laughs> I just quickly wiped that off because that was not smelling right and I don't want that in my mouth. Instead of going in with a gloss, I'm just gonna add some of my Belief lip mask. Just because my, my lips were feeling a bit dehydrated and this will help. And it also does add a nice shine to it. My God. Do I ever love filming Shot My Stashes? This is such a fun makeup look. I love how this turned out and I think my nieces are going to love this even more. I'm seeing them after I film this today. This is going to be one of those looks that I have trouble washing off at the end of the day. I want to sleep with this. I want to have this on for the rest of my life. I feel so cool. Do I look cool? Be honest there's the look for you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see next i actually have two very exciting trips coming up uh, i'm thinking of vlogging them but other than that if you did enjoy today's video please give it a like it would help me out a lot and i'll make sure to link all of the products i used in today's video in the description down below as always and i will see you in the next one bye guys